of the following statement. We'll go ahead and use the quotient rule. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll take the derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. And then it's just the denominator squared. All right, so here we're just going to end up with a, b, and then um, c, d are all constants. So we're going to end up with x times cx plus d minus ax plus b x. So we'll get cx squared plus x, d. Then we'll do dx because we'll keep the constants out in front. mistake excuse me I um, get rid of the X I don't know what I was thinking sorry 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 I don't want to do the video again <laughs> so this ends up being sorry um, X because the b goes to zero so we have cx plus d That's it. Sorry about that. All right. I hope that helped you out. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.